Okay, well I'm here tonight to speak um, about the Scottish police system, about the historic system of um, scrutiny that took place and how a significant political change led to difficulties, difficulties around the arming of police, difficulties around stopping and searching and the challenges there were to bring things back onto course. So. Um, what I will talk about is the level of scrutiny with local policing, the local input that's important to policing, and how in Scotland we have policing plans for each council ward. The council uh, councillors from each local authority area consult with their uh, citizens about that. How you can still have national initiatives that cover things like terrorism, drugs, cross-border crime, human trafficking. And that level of scrutiny is undertaken by a national committee, but all of them in turn are answerable to uh, the Scottish Parliament. Now, the difficulties we had were significant, they took some time to resolve and I don't think we're quite there yet but I think there's opportunities to share the experience and share the important role of community policing that applies in Scotland and how the difference between Scotland and the rest of the UK as regards the obligations that are placed on police officers and that is to serve the public. So the community role is seen as very important and we need to reinforce that position after a bad period when issues of stop and search and arm and police dominated the news and I think there's an opportunity to discuss the, the models, the level of scrutiny and most importantly that the police are there to serve the public.